Now let's talk about adding items. Let's come in here to our lists pull down menu and let's open our item list. Let's maximize this window and let's look at some items that are already set up. First, let's come down here and let's look at some standard doorknobs. Double click on it and that'll open up the standard doorknobs window. Notice how inventory part, the type, is sh grayed out or shaded. That's because we can't change it once we've used this inventory type. Remember in the previous video we stressed the proper setup of inventory types when you begin. Here we fill in the item name and if it's a sub item we can indicate that here. In these two windows we put information for purchasing so when we process a purchase order for this item for example and over here for invoicing so when we sell it this is the description that will appear on the invoice. Now there's three import important pointers on this screen. Pointers tell QuickBooks where to send information when we process this item. The first pointer is down here. When we buy this item and bring it into inventory, this tells QuickBooks where to record it. Let's click on this down arrow. Inventory asset in our chart of accounts is where this item will go when we buy it in. When we sell it, here is the second pointer, cost of goods sold. And finally, here is our income account for when we sell it. This recognizes income here. This recognizes the cost here. And of course, we can also set up our cost, sales price, whether the item is taxable or non-taxable, and a preferred vendor. Let's look at another item. Let's look at a service item, installation labor. Let's double click on it to open it. Notice once again, service is grayed out. We can't change it. Item name, installation. And notice, because this is a service item, there's only one pointer, construction labor. This is the income account for when we sell this item. We don't have the other two pointers for the inventory asset or cost of goods sold because this is not an inventory item. So we're not tracking that information. We have our rate and our tax code, of course. Now, let's look at this box. If this is going to be performed by a subcontractor, once we check this box, then that brings in an additional pointer the expense account. We need to tell QuickBooks where to charge this item when we pay for it. In other words, purchase information from a subcontractor. Let's look at one last item, non-inventory. Let's look at a non-inventory part. Why would we want to set up a non-inventory part? custom cabinets. Remember our rule was you want to set up something as an inventory part if you're going to use it more than once. Custom cabinets you will mi most likely only use once because each time it's different. So you want to set it up as a non-inventory part with just one pointer for your revenue. And that's how to add items to the item list.